Have you ever wondered about the origins of the Satavahana dynasty, one of the most influential dynasties in Indian history? Let's embark on a journey back to the 1st century CE, when the Satavahana dynasty was founded by a visionary leader named Simuka. Rising from humble beginnings, Simuka laid the groundwork for a dynasty that would rule for approximately 400 years. Contrary to popular belief, the Satavahanas were not Brahmins but were likely of Kshatriya or warrior caste. In the early years, the dynasty was just finding its footing, grappling with establishing authority and expanding its territories. These were formative years, where each decision made by the rulers would shape the future of the dynasty. The early rulers, including Kanha and Satakani I, played pivotal roles in establishing the Satavahana's reputation as a powerful and culturally rich dynasty. Their leadership steered the dynasty towards growth and prosperity. With a solid foundation, the Satavahana dynasty was poised to leave an indelible mark on the history of India. Now that we have established the origins, let's delve into the golden era of the Satavahana dynasty. The reigns of significant rulers like Gautamiputra Satakarni and his successors marked the zenith of the dynasty's power and influence. Gautamiputra Satakarni, the most celebrated of the Satavahana kings, was a brilliant military strategist and a benevolent ruler. His reign was marked by successful military campaigns which expanded the territory of the Satavahana dynasty. But the Satavahanas were not just warriors, they were patrons of art and culture fostering a rich cultural heritage. Their language, Prakrit, was widely used for administrative and literary purposes. The dynasty's capital, Amaravati, was a bustling metropolis and a hub of cultural activities. The architectural grandeur of Amaravati reflected the prosperity and cultural sophistication of the Satavahana period. In terms of religion, the Satavahanas were known for their religious tolerance, they were primarily Hindus, but they respected all religions. In fact, Buddhism flourished during their rule, and they made significant contributions to Buddhist art and architecture. Under the Satavahanas, the Indian subcontinent saw a remarkable growth in trade and commerce. The dynasty's strategic location, with access to the western and eastern coasts, facilitated maritime trade. The port of Sopara became an important trade hub, linking the Indian subcontinent with the Roman Empire and Southeast Asia. The Satavahanas also made significant strides in governance. They established a well-structured administrative system, which ensured efficient governance and law enforcement. The dynasty was divided into provinces, each governed by a provincial governor. The golden era of the Satavahanas was a period of political stability, economic prosperity, and cultural efflorescence. Their reign was marked by military prowess, administrative efficiency, and cultural advancements. The Satavahanas fostered a spirit of inclusivity and tolerance, which resonated in their religious and cultural policies. The golden era of the Satavahana dynasty shaped the socio-political landscape of the Indian subcontinent, influencing future generations. Every empire has its rise and fall, and the Satavahana dynasty was no exception. As the centuries passed, the once powerful dynasty began to lose its grip on power. A combination of factors contributed to their downfall, internal strife, succession issues, and constant battles against invading forces weakened the empire from within. Economic instability and the inability to manage the vast territories effectively also played a role in their decline. The last ruler of the Satavahana dynasty, Pulama V IV, found himself ruling over a kingdom on the brink of collapse. Despite his best efforts to hold the empire together, the dynasty fell to the onslaught of the western satraps and Ikshvaku dynasty. The once formidable Satavahana empire, which had ruled the Deccan for about 400 years, was reduced to a mere footnote in the annals of history. And thus, the once mighty Satavahana dynasty came to an end, leaving behind a rich legacy. So, what remains of the Satavahana dynasty today? The legacy of the Satavahana dynasty is vast and enduring, deeply embedded in the cultural, political and social fabric of India. The dynasty's influence can be seen in the continued use of Prakrit, a language they championed in various regions of the Indian subcontinent. The Satavahanas also left an indelible mark on Indian architecture, 
with their rock-cut structures and stupas serving as shining examples of early Indian art. Politically, their system of administration, which balanced central control with local autonomy, became a model for subsequent dynasties. They fostered trade and commerce, and their maritime prowess led to the establishment of significant trade routes with Rome and Southeast Asia. Socially, they played a crucial role in promoting Buddhism alongside Hinduism, demonstrating a spirit of religious tolerance that continues to define India's pluralistic society. The Satavahana dynasty might have ended centuries ago, but its legacy continues to shape the Indian subcontinent even today. हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और साथ ही बेल आइकन दबाएं जिससे समय पर नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलती रहे आपका एक लाइक हमें प्रोत्साहित करता है जिससे कि हम नई वीडियो बनाएं थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट